Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our Timberborn series. So, in this episode, we have been talking about creating like a bit more entertainment for our beavers. So, I think it's time to do it. Yeah, so I've quickly planned in a couple of things. Nothing too crazy. It's just, uh, just a few campfires over here. And I think we can start unpausing things as well. And uh, just above the campfires, we do have a ton of side platforms. Okay, so yeah, let's unpause all of them and start building right away. Okay, you're not paused, and what about the rest? Oh, we can't really see what's below, so why don't we take you out for a little while? Yep, so on top of those platforms, what we do want to do... Is that the last one? Nope, There's something else is paused over here. Okay, there we go. Right, so on top of this one, we do want to give them... I think it was... Yeah, well-being. Okay, there we go. Carousel right about here that's going to be the spot and the way we are going to connect it up with power as well it's pretty simple we can just draw it from here oh you are a t intersection well that's fine we'll just swap you over with the uh, or just put you on a different angle that that should be fine okay great yep so if we look at the beavis well-being sunflower seeds well I, I guess we can send them over as well uh, right, we've got those gates as well. Actually, I did install this mod like ages ago, pretty much after we completed the bathhouse. Uh, Flame of Progress, okay, and uh, yep, we definitely have to plop these ones down as well. Ferris wheel, I think we have enough space to squeeze it somewhere in here. Okay, oh, books is something else we haven't produced at all. Well, that's gonna be interesting. I mean, our logs, it's good, but it seems to be dropping again. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll start producing them somewhere around here. Maybe even in this zone. Well, that's actually pretty crowded already. Farms, uh, same over here. It's quite busy and I don't really want to do it there unless we use some of the space in here, of course. Well, we, we've got options, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, you guys are complaining about the access right now, but that is okay because we do have these ladders that we will place right about there. Okay, I think we've got some bigger priorities right now. For example, you do have to go, okay, we want this link to be reconnected again. Let's give you a highest priority as well. There we go. Now this means we can connect it up. Okay, beautiful. And same over here. I guess we can draw the power. Maybe here is better. Just bring it through here, but the axis, hmm, they might not be able to reach everything. But that should be fine again. We can just uh, put down some temporary stairs, perhaps. Or maybe even figure something else out here. Okay, anyways, yep. So lots of platforms for them to construct. Whilst they are doing that, there have been a couple of minor things that I have sort of done around this area. So, um, first of all, I do have quite a few dynamites over here and I think we can drop a another level as well. Uh, yep, let's do it. Why not? Okay, so the idea was that we are going to put like a like a flat gate over here and change the access just a tiny bit. Okay, here we go. And we have automated these flat gates already as well. So we've got this uh, stream gauge over there. That seems to be working pretty well, I think. Alright, let's bring bring back the water as well this area i mean i don't think this is necessary anymore so yeah this link can actually go let's uh, grab this i hope we're not deleting anything important well there isn't really anything important left over here so there we go that's removed now as well we have resumed the uh, water exports from our downtown area so now it is being brought over here i believe yep 300 is the maximum so there we go and, um, yeah, I think we wanted to deepen this area a little bit more as well. So we do have the infrastructure in place if we choose to do that. Anything else that we have done here? Oh, yeah. I was thinking to open this up a little bit and let the water flow into this area. So why don't we get rid of those dynamites as well? There we go. All right, a couple more from this side. Beautiful. I mean, if it's at least, like, two levels deep, that, that is fine. The uh, drought is here for another 7.4 days, so we're not gonna see it full. I mean, we do have a tiny bit of water here. 
but I think we would prefer to keep it in this zone for, for now, just to make sure that none of those trees are gonna expire. Okay, now moving on, everything else in here should be the same. I think the biggest sort of change that we do have, let's pause you as well, is uh, we've started putting down some extra trees around this area, and we also have this metal floodgate that's 10 tiles high. Uh, yep, so the plan was to really use this sort of like a reservoir or tank over here to make sure that this river is always filled with water. So yeah, we do have to go down quite a few levels. All right, there we go. And oh, okay. Let's have a look. You are connected. And if it's low, let's bring it down maybe another couple of levels for now. All right, there we go. Here goes the water. And yeah, I mean, ideally would have uh, like another floodgate over here, I guess, maybe. Or maybe not actually. Once this tank is low enough, then uh, we, we should be fine. Okay, now around this area, what we do want to do is, um, is uh, we want to have some more power over here. Yeah, I think once we get the entertainment in as well, that power is not going to be enough. So let's grab another engine. We do have a lot of them already, so yeah. All right, we'll change you over highest priority. Uh, this one doesn't matter so much, to be honest. And um, yeah, so I started building one of those uh, or another efficient mine over here as well. And I thought, okay, so our science points are dropping a little bit and we might need a bit of extra. And then uh, I realized that, uh-oh, I think um, the science function was only for the folk tales, not the iron teeth. So yeah, we we can't really produce science from the uh, mine, it seems. But uh, other option that we do have is, of course, let's have a look. So the number cruncher over here. This one uh, consumes a lot of power, so we'd need an extra engine. One engine isn't actually enough, but uh, I, I think it would be okay. Now, in this zone here as well, it seems our tree farm is constantly... It's pretty low, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so perhaps we start putting down some extra trees, so... Yeah, let's have the stairs go up from here. And I think, yeah, once we get you here, we can put some more trees there and it should be should be fine to expand it a little bit. I just feel like we've got so many trees growing everywhere and it still doesn't seem to be enough. I mean, there's a bit of extra here, which is fine, but I don't really want to export the logs from there. So, yeah, I guess it is what it is. All right. So how are the platforms going? They're going kind of. OK, I believe we are exporting everything from here but the blanks go in metal and the logs as well so that's good are we missing anything no pretty sure everything's going through here oh yes it is okay fantastic the uh, road link has been reconnected as well so they do have a bit of a shortcut from there which means we can get rid of this area and uh, right 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 so over here I don't think we desperately need anything below. I mean, of course we could do some more storages, but to be fair, like at this stage, everything is pretty much stabilized. You know, we, we've got decent production with the food happening over here. Yeah, they're full. These guys, pretty full as well. And let's have a look over here. Oh, wait a second. I guess you are gonna have to start exporting them faster uh, never mind. We just sat over here. What are we lacking? No, you're full, you're full. Everything's pretty much full. So, oh, let's give you a high priority. Maybe the haulers aren't bringing the um, stuff here fast enough. Maybe that's the, that's the problem. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But um, essentially, yeah, got tons of food. 2,000 in here, 1.2 thousand in there, and in total it's 8.5k so I think uh, that is no longer an issue all right half the side is pretty much done over here which is great and I think we have enough builders as well I'd like this to be done a little bit quicker quick auto save there we go but uh yeah I don't think we need to build anything extra right now 
Okay, cool. So why don't we skip ahead just a tiny bit, have this all constructed, and then uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, and here we go. So everything is pretty much in place. We've already managed to construct the carousel as well. We've done a wonderful sort of barrier with the uh, with the shrubs. And uh, yeah, I think it looks quite nice over here. So the only few links that we have left is those power shafts over here. And uh, it should be connected and good to go. Now the supply of power obviously isn't very good. But we do have a lot of logs. So I guess we can and we shall. Do we still need this in here? I don't think we do need it. Alright, let's grab... <laughs> engine uh, we can only do one unless we sort of squeeze another one here but that means we have to get rid of this pillar here uh, right 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 okay so yeah I guess we'll go here and you know what it's um, it's fine we've already used dynamites in so many different places so and I think the series is nearing its end as well I mean we've done a lot with this colony um, yeah Pretty much most of the map is already full of our development over here. Now this plateau, of course, pretty empty, but then again, we have everything that we need. I'd say 90% at least. So let's get one of those engines running as well. I think the problem we might have is how are we going to connect you up? Because we have the stairs in the way. Oh yeah. Can you reach this one? Oh yes, you can. Okay, so... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a lot of easy options over here. And we didn't future-proof ourselves either. I guess we are going to have to go around, maybe build some platforms. We'll figure something out. Okay, so whilst you are constructing that, let's jump back over, over here and check on our ferris wheel progress as well. So we are needing three dead planks, which I don't think we are exporting actually let's take a quick look so berries and explosives nope nope no well that's a bit of a shame we can do one more route all right three dead planks where are you should be right about i think i'm a bit blind okay there we go three dead planks now question is are we importing oh yes we are okay i think we'll be we'll be fine now all right, so that's the last resource we are going to need here to complete this link. And why don't we connect this carousel as well, so the viewers can start enjoying this right away. Now, with a couple more decorations, I think we do want to complete the full sort of circle around here. And access-wise as well, we have to do it slowly, unless we give them another point of access from here. I don't think we have to. Alright, let's place one over here. There you go. And we're going to need a road to connect it up as well. Lovely. Okay. And you with the highest priority because it's almost evening. Let's get this done. Okay, wonderful. Now, something we have not done. Let's have a look. Decorations. Okay, here we go. Lanterns. I think it would be cool to place a few additional lights in here as well. Let's see what fits. I do like these ones. Let's try it out. Okay. Kind of in the middle. Why don't we place it like so? Okay. Pretty interesting. Yeah. I believe we can do one more here. And let's have a look. Just like so as well. Oh yeah, another thing we did want to do. Let's have a look at under the monument. So couple of monuments that we have left science wise we're not doing so good but I would like to put the biggest one over here and I guess in preparation for that we can place these platforms as well all right there you go and it should be pretty easy to connect up with the power as well since we do have those batteries over here and um, yeah I guess we're just gonna need some uh, bit of extra science Okay, there we go. Carousel is finally operational. And we are a bit over our energy allowance, it seems. Okay, let's make a bit more space over here. Just need one more dynamite. And uh, yeah, whilst we were building up the entertainment zone, I was also... Let's have a look. Placed quite a few dynamites over here as well. Okay, let's detonate you as well. 
Here we go. Almost done. And once the stairs get done, they can uh, complete the last few dynamites as well. But yeah, talking about this episode as well, not this episode, the series. So um, we've done pretty much everything I, I wanted to do. So I do feel this might be and will be the last episode of this series. It's been pretty, pretty exciting. I would like to carry on building, of course, but I've, I do have this feeling that we've done so much already. And uh, all these little projects that we have and how we connected things up as well has been very very satisfying it's good to see how it's all come together especially i think this is a very special corner over here and um yeah so i was thinking since uh, i don't think i've seen any kind of like updates or or news that there's any changes coming in from the developers anytime soon so what we might do is leave this game or the map for for some time and if we come up with some kind of like great ideas for for builds we still have this space over here and until the game gets another major update where we cannot continue on the same map of course we can always revisit this area and try and develop it a bit further if we want to of course but right now i think yeah things are looking pretty good and here we go ferris wheel is almost done as well so why don't we speed up the time it is almost morning yeah power i think it's fine demands a little bit higher but then again there isn't really a lot of resources that we desperately need right now so i guess Everything's kind of catching up as well, and as soon as the warehouses are full, we uh, should, uh, or the demand should drop a little bit. All right, here we go. The Ferris wheel is finally operational. Wonderful. I think a couple of things we do need here. Let's complete the little ring of decorations here as well. And another thing we can do, of course, is to reduce their working hours. So that they can enjoy all of those rides and entertainment after, uh, I guess, slightly shorter days of work. Okay, so 9.5. Yeah, it's going to take quite a bit of science still. But essentially, I think you get the idea. It would be great if we can, if we go back into the monuments real quick. Grab this one from here. Takes a lot of power. 600, wow. And then, uh, yeah, if we could unlock it, we'll place it right in the middle over here. Connect it up with power as well and have it operational here and it's a it's a pretty good location actually because everyone will be walking through the kind of like a bridge over here to get like water food go back to the houses so it, it will definitely cover everyone since it has a quite a large radius as well and uh, oh yeah almost forgot since our last disaster with water um yeah we've got a few dynamites in as well but i guess yeah now is probably a good time to Deep in this water system over here. Alright, here you go. And yeah, since we had the problem, now that we are fully aware of this, I don't suppose it would happen again, but who knows. It's, it's best to prepare. Okay, cool. So yeah, everything's in place. So what we'll do is um, we'll call it the end of this series. But again, if there are some great ideas that you might drop in the comments, I'm not against the idea of revisiting this map, provided that we can still open it, of course. So yeah, I'd like to thank you all for uh, following our story. It's definitely been a pretty amazing series with the Studio Ghibli sort of styled bathhouse here as well, and the restaurants and uh, the rest of the de development. Um, having trains in this game is absolutely amazing, and I can't wait to update some of the mods that I've had as well, just to see what's been changed and... Um, I'm uh, gonna try and look for a new map and hopefully soon we'll start a new map once again. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next series.